Hey, so here's Climber app. Uh, it's uh, called No Air Weather Radar Live. And yeah, this app is constantly in the top charts in weather category on iOS. And yeah, you can, it's, it's basically just a radar live. So you can see the movements of different like, uh, yeah, like, clouds and all the typhoons or all the cyclones and all of that so it's much more detailed weather data than you would get like in the standard weather app on ios and it's just much more fun to use so let's just install it so that's how you install it on ios iphone you don't need some advanced new iphone it can also work like on iphone 7 or something so that's how it works The size is 147 and 4 megabyte. And then it also has pro features so you can uh, subscribe here. Uh, you can start a free trial. Um, you can see the details. So yeah, let's just open the app for a start. So this is the app. Again, it's one of the like uh, top apps, weather apps, if you uh, weather junkie or if you just like a better weather data, honestly, then it's, this app will just provide you with that. Then you just need to accept all of it. Um, then you can allow notifications and do the standard Facebook track. Uh, then you can just disable. Then there is some discount. And then you can see in the bottom that it's just fetching data. And the cool part about this app that you can see like real cloud movements in the real time. And you can just move it, move this bar here like that in the top part. So that's the idea basically. Uh, and then, yeah, um, if you want to, you can just, if you want 14, hardly 14 day forecast, you will need to upgrade. But then uh, uh, you can see uh, of the, on the radar, like which colors mean what. So if it's light green, it means there will be raining, light rain. If it's like red, purple, it means it will be heavy rain. Uh, mixed weather snow light or heavy you can also track hurricanes but again that's in the subscription uh, so that's the idea uh, you can go also to settings you can see change the temperature fahrenheit celsius change the wind speed change the pressure you can sh show the data from weather provider or device sensor yeah so you can see all these additional settings. You can create an account on the web and log in with web account. Probably you will have them some history saved and all of that. So yeah, that's the idea. So for example, in Nordics, here's uh, how you can see like the different movements. And then again, you can just enable this in top part. And I don't know any other web app which can show this exact like movements. And then you can just zoom in to the maximum and see all the clouds, where all the clouds are actually going. And if you want to get forecast and if you want like to see just the rain coming and all of that, you again, or are you ahead of storm and all of that, you can just see that. So that's the idea here. Hope it is helpful, guys. Uh, that's just an overview. If you have some additional advice how to use this app, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.